the kind of political strategy behind this plan right now? What, what do you think it is? Oh. Well, it's a unique one. Uh, uh, that's that's for sure. I know that Andrew and David said that they felt uh, they felt it was uh, it was being defensive on the on the Trudeau carbon tax. I don't I don't think that's the case. I think if if Aaron uh, wanted to be defensive, he might have just come out and said, "I support uh, the Trudeau carbon tax." Instead of announcing a very bizarre scheme that uh, would put uh, uh, would put basically what Canadians could could spend their uh, rebate on, uh, decided by a con a corporate conglomerate, uh, be it bus, bus passes or or uh, uh, I don't know, like maybe at the end of the, the year, I could go through a catalog and decide to get a solar powered blender that was deemed environmentally <laughs> friendly. So uh, th what, what they have suggested is this is going to end up cost costing the government more money. It's definitely going to be more bureaucratic. Um, and uh, it, it, it's not just the carbon tax. That seems to be the signature that they've talked about. There's also the fuel emission standards uh, that, that, that are being talked about, which, which has very similar uh, feelings and language to what the uh, green energy plan was that the Liberals brought in that drove people's energy prices up, uh, heating their home as well as uh, drove business out of Ontario. Uh, they've also suggested things like a tax on hunting cabins and and uh, cottages and uh, luxury vehicles. They would look you, at those. Look yeah. at different definitions of luxury vehicles. That could mean leather seats in the SUV that a that a that a soccer mom uh, drives in uh, in uh, you know Milton or uh, or suburban Calgary. So I, I'm I, I really have no idea what they were they were thinking it like with this. I just wonder if th those details are lost on people who have been told for many, many years by the Conservatives and by Aaron O'Toole that a carbon tax is a terrible policy. But it's but it's so so this is a carbon tax. So he's so Aaron has announced uh, released something that uh, that he campaigned again. I do not think that anyone sitting in uh, you know a farm on in rural Saskatchewan or Alberta is going to be like uh, you know looking at some government mandated uh, list about what they're allowed to spend their rebate in. Like they, people can't even choose to. to for what they want to spend it on themselves. I think that's that's absolutely ridiculous. And and to David's point, this is a, a policy that I don't see it appealing to anyone. It, it is in the same vein as John Tory's faith-based schools in 2006 and, and Tim Hudak saying that he was going to uh, cut 100,000 jobs uh, in 2014. This is something that no one in your base, your core support likes, no one in the opposition uh, supports and swing voters uh, f feel exactly the same way about it. It's 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 a lose 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 situation.